baggity back to back back y'all we back y'all we back y'all we baggity back to back back hey y'all what's up okay because it's been 27 years <sighs> um first of all look let me try to sit back okay i got this pillow i be trying to use extra pillow y'all help send help somebody send me a back I'm a little snacky, so we're going to eat on these fruit snacks here. I hope y'all don't mind. Y'all don't mind. If you do, I don't care. Um, we're going to eat on these because I'm a little snack. Lunch. Crunch dinner. How y'all been? Hmm? How your mama? How your sister? How your brother? How have you been? Seriously, though. Because COVID. Oh, I'm smacking. I'm sorry. Um, Because COVID... Because she's still around, and we a year later, and she's still here. So, with all truthfulness, honesty, I hope you've been doing well. I hope this video finds you in great spirits. I hope that your family is doing well. I know some people have been really struggling for this past from this past year, and. It's been a lot, but we're going to make it. We're going to be all right. So if you're watching this right now, I'm telling you personally, I miss you. I love you. I hope that you're having a great day today. Okay. We about to catch up. So y'all might as well get y'all a snack so y'all can be smacking too. And it's not just me. And then that way me and the baby don't look like we the only ones that's fat over here. Okay. I'm being funny. I know I'm not fat. Okay. I know that. Please don't don't go in the comments and be like, you are. You're nowhere near. I know. It was a joke. It was a joke. Anywho. Okay. First of all, where I want to begin. Where have I been? I've been right here at home. <laughs> right here. Um. I'm just looking outside. I love looking at the trees and I'm listening to the birds chirping. I need to focus though on y'all. But I just love all this. Uh, and it's a nice little breeze in here because I was hot, okay? I got on this all black looking like Miss Jackson if you're nasty and stuff. I got my belly out. Who I think I is? Who I think I is with this little piece of Savage X fancy crap top and some leggings? Who I thought I was? Listen, let me tell you. Okay. First of all. Um, I'm trying out some shit. We got on a maternity bra. Bam. Okay. You could just unsnap that thing right there. Be ready to go. I got on maternity postpartum panties. Because I just, I needed to know if they was comfortable prior to everything that's going down. You know what I'm saying? Me, me in the trap is going down. I needed to test this stuff out. I said, well, what better way to do that? Now, I ain't gonna lie. The bra and the panties I bought from Amazon. If y'all want to know what they are, if any of y'all are pregnant, um, I can link them down below. This bra, they played me. They told me to get a size medium. I could have got a size small. I don't have no Tiggo bitties. Never have. I left the padding in here to give me a little something. Because if I take it out, these motherfuckers going to look like defloated, deflated air balloons. Uh, the, the bra wheel. Not my boobies. My boobies is boobying. Okay? They giving a little something. But this bra... I said, wait, why would y'all do this to me? I wasn't returning it. It's too close. I ain't returning it. I'm just, we gonna keep it. I said, hell, maybe once they get some stuff up in there, they'll grow. I don't know. Um, I still don't think I needed no medium. So, I'm gonna say, do I want to say it run, they run, this, this bra run a little big? Because I went on their size chart, and based off of their size chart, this is what they told me to get. They told me to get a medium. I should have got a small. Anywho. This is where we at. I am literally testing out products. I mean, y'all just, I mean, I know y'all gonna be cool with it. Y'all ain't gonna care. Y'all gonna be like, first of all, we haven't seen you in forever. We don't care. You could have came on here with a trash bag on. We would have been like, you look good. You look blessed. <laughs> um, I've been here and I've been at home. And I will say that. I definitely have missed you guys. I needed some technical get up. And we're going to see if it was worth. I have a new computer. Um, 
that was part of the reason why I was not making videos. But I'm not going to blame that fully. I'm going to be honest and real. I wasn't making them because I was going through a... How can I describe it? In all honesty, y'all, it's I feel like it's a transformation. And um, that can sound so cliche, but probably around January is when it really hit me. And I've been so at peace mentally, spiritually, physically uh, with this journey that I'm on. And I don't take this lightly. You know, there's so many people that want to have children that cannot. And... I never, you know, I always thought pregnancy was beautiful. I always thought it was empowering. Um, but this is my first time experiencing it. I've seen women in my family go through it multiple times. I've seen, you know, different people online. And I'm just like, wow, they look so beautiful and, and, and just so powerful. It's really, it's, it's doing that for me. It's doing that for me. Okay. And my mind has been in a different place. And different area of focus I'm gonna keep readjusting myself y'all just gonna have to bear with me okay that's what y'all gonna have to do um my mind is in a different area of focus I'm focused on me and my baby and making sure that you know we have a great connection um, especially leading up to his birthing and I am using uh, hypno babies um, if you guys have not heard of that, check them out. If any of you are expecting, you want to go the natural route, you feel like you need some guidance and some clarity on some things on how to best prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, I I would suggest Hypno Babies. I knew about Hypno Babies prior to getting pregnant. Y'all know I told you I did a lot of research on so much stuff before ever becoming pregnant. So I knew about a lot of this stuff prior to okay um and so now that i'm actually going through it it's just it's it's something this is something this is beautiful it's life changing and uh i needed to go through that and i feel like i wasn't going to be able to document the process or anything like that like you go through so much as a woman um in general and then you know you add being pregnant on top and it's just like wow like this is something you know what I'm saying and I wanted that moment for myself and for my family you know for and when I say my family I literally mean me and my husband you know some some family members don't know um, I haven't spoken to some, some people um, and it's just because I've been at a place of peace you know, it ain't like I'm cutting people off like, okay, fuck you, fuck you, see you. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's just I've been at a real place of peace. Some people said that they, if you haven't seen my maternity, our maternity pictures, I posted those um, yesterday. Um, some people are saying that they can see it through those photos. they like, you look so happy. You look so at peace. And it's because I am. And like I said, that happened around January. Um, so from January forward up until now and continuing, my mindset is just different. I'm trying to prepare myself to be a mother. Like, y'all, I'm going to be a mom. That still blows my mind. <laughs> Anthony is going to be a dad. We're about to be parents. What? You know? So it's 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 been a very beautiful and transforming experience. And I'm very thankful and grateful that I was just able to go through it. So that's where, if you want to say where I've been, that's kind of where I've been. I've been here, but I've been focused on me and us. Um, okay, what What else was I going to say? Um, I was going to answer the assumption questions because I never got around to doing that. So we're going to answer some of the assumption questions, even though some of them, they might be a little little dated at this point, or y'all already might know the answers at this point. But I figured I would answer those. Oh, excuse me. I would answer those and then talk to y'all about some more stuff if I can think about it. Um, if anybody's wondering, my hair is, this is a Bantu Not Out. The Bantu Not Out been popping, okay? This is my second time doing it. I pinned it back a little bit. I've worn it down. Um, 
a little bit. I, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe I'll wear it up tomorrow or something like that. Do a half up, half down or something. But y'all, this this been too not out. It's been doing a little something, okay? It's been, it's been, hey, it's been, hey, ho, hey, ho, okay? Okay. Uh, someone asked, has your hair grown faster since getting pregnant? This, these questions, <laughs> I posted y'all to ask, ask me these questions back in December. Uh, but that's all right, because here we are, okay? Judge me, don't judge me, judge yourself. All right. Um, has your hair grown faster? To be honest, I don't know. A part of me wants to say yes, because y'all know I got a haircut in August when I got my color the first time. The first time I got color. I got a haircut and I got hair color, right? So, if I'm thinking about that haircut, if y'all look at the maternity pictures, I definitely feel like it's grown back. So, I'm going to say yes to that, kind of, sort of. We're going to say yes to that. Do you know the gender of the baby? We do and all of you should at this point. If you don't know, uh, please don't spoil it for anybody. Well, at this point, if you don't know, where you been? What you been doing? Because the few videos that I did post, y'all should have seen them by now. Yes, you. we do know the gender. We're having a boy. Go and watch the gender reveal video. You already know what it is. If you, if you, I'm sorry, I ruined the surprise. But go and watch the gender reveal so you can see my family's reaction if you would like. Okay? Um... Did you cut out some of your foods because of pregnancy? Uh, yeah, certain foods you do have to cut out. You can't eat hot dogs. You can't eat uh, tuna fish. You can't eat deli meat unless it's heated all the way up um, till it's steaming. No sushi, of course, but I don't eat raw fish sushi. I would like to tell people, yeah, I eat sushi, but it really be a California roll. Um, and we all know that's cucumbers and motherfucking rice. So, um... You know, certain foods, yeah. I can't drink. Ain't no ain't no drinks on Friday. Okay, did you cut out some of your foods? What about drinks? Yep, I sure did. Can't do that. If you do, somebody call the police, please. Okay. Um, it's funny, my god sister is on here saying, Yeah, it's a girl, I'm convinced. Well, you were wrong. <laughs> Baby, you were wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are the names that you like but won't be using? Um at this point, we've gone through so many names. I had a list of names prior to us getting pregnant. I've had that list of names for probably five years. Whenever I thought of a name or heard of a name, I would be like, oh, I like that. And I would add it to the list, right? Um, at this point, I done got rid of and added and got rid of and added so many names. I We, we ain't even going to go there. Um, we still, no one knows the baby's name yet. And to be honest, besides me and Anthony, and we still don't even know, okay? Um, we got two. And at this point, we thinking we just going to have to be like, yeah, he looked like a, mm -hmm, he looked like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we don't know. So everybody going to find out at the same time. <laughs> That's what everybody going to find out. Together, as a family. We are family. Um... Oh, Asia asked, what is you and, and baby uh, favorite lunch, crunch, breakfast, dinner? Um, okay, cravings. I think you guys probably would want to know about cravings. It's funny because I don't think that I necessarily had cravings. What's funny is I only wanted something if I saw somebody else eating it. Like if I saw you eating it, I would be like, oh, that look good. So towards the very beginning, Anthony came and he was eating some... Flaming hot popcorn and I was like I didn't want the flaming hot popcorn but when I say it just looked delicious to me I was like I want some flaming hot funyuns y'all I went on a hunt for flaming hot funyuns for probably a month literally every place was sold out here my friend had to literally send me some funyuns from California flaming hot funyuns and by the time they got here I found them here at the store and I was eating those crazy heavy at the beginning like flaming hot onions was the go-to baby that was it that was all i wanted um oh i'm dropping shit getting bending over it's getting a little harder okay there we go flaming hot onions if we gonna call it a craving and then i ate donuts a lot but i only wanted a donut when i rolled past a donut shop 
So it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't like I was just like, oh, I'm craving a donut. No, we would be in the car and I would be like, oh, Dunkin' Donuts. And they donuts ain't even banging like that. Um, Cause the place back in, in Hanford where we stay in California, even though I hated that place, y'all know I hated that place. Um, the place back there, it was a mom and pop type shop. They had the best donuts I ever had in my life. So I do miss day donuts. Uh, but the damn Dunkin' Donuts, I would be like, I want a donut, babe. And he would stop and he would give me a donut. And I would be so happy. So that was like every time we rode past Dunkin' Donuts, I would want a donut. So Funyuns, donuts. And what was my other thing? Oranges. Cara Cara oranges, though. Okay? It's a different type of orange. It ain't no navel orange. She ain't the same bitch. These on two different levels. Cara Cara. I discovered these in Sam's Club. Anthony was like, what's these oranges? And I said, I don't know. I've never heard of them. I said, Cara Cara. I was like, okay, we're going to try them. Big ass bag. They pink on the inside. Have y'all heard of these oranges? Who heard of these? Let me know down below. Have you tried Cara Cara? If you have not, go to Sam's Club. See if they have them. Y'all, the best oranges I ever had in my life. When I say I ate at least an orange every day if not two oranges every day i was putting family members on i'm like these is the best oranges in my life and they was like okay i need to find these so i was putting family members on to the oranges and everything and they loved them they agreed that, that they were bomb they the oranges were delicious so oh my little crop top just cropping on them okay so caro caro oranges um so that that I, that would be my three or those caro caro oranges, the funyuns, and donuts. Somebody said you are mean when hungry. How would you know that? Have you ever brought me a meal? Am I? I'm confused. How you telling me what I am? Okay. Um. I think that was it. That was all the assumptions. Uh. Oh well. Hold on. I might have lied. Let me see. 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 Sharmika said, how is the pregnancy going? Are you loving it? I hope you're enjoying every bit of it. Okay, so how is the pregnancy going? I cannot complain. I don't have, I have slight minor complaints. And I asked Anthony the other day, I was like, be honest with me. I was like, do you feel like I've complained, you know, this pregnancy? And he was like, no, not not really. The only things that I had complaints about was at the beginning, I had nausea, but it was for literally one month, okay? I got put on this, this pill that I took twice a day, and hmm, y'all, let me tell you this. I should do a story time about this, about me pulling up to the pharmacy, and they put in a prescription for me for the pill, and I'm like, okay, cool. And the lady pull up, and she say, okay, um... She said, it'll be 800 I said, huh? I said, you said $8, right? She said, no, this pill is 800 I said, $800? We ain't even about to go there. We not even about to go there because I could get to started and talking about the pharmaceutical industry and how they just shady and all of that. I ain't going there. Anywho, I said, well, bitch. I guess I'm going to just be a nauseous bitch. Because who paying $800 for a goddamn pack of pills? A, a 30 day supply. I say, is this a lifetime supply of them? I only need a little bit. You know, I'm only going to be pregnant for 40 weeks. 42 at the, t at the max. I don't need a lifetime, lifetime supply of them. Y'all, those pills were $800. I was able to get a waiver to where it, something happened. Where I was able to get a waiver for the insurance because some type of way they wasn't covered under the insurance, but you can get a waiver. I was able to get the waiver. I paid $50 out of pocket. That's still a very expensive prescription because think about that. What if I needed them more than that one month? But I'm not going to worry about that because God is good. So I paid $50 for a 30-day supply of pills and all I needed was that 30-day supply. That was it. So I had nausea and real bad headaches for 30 days straight basically it hits you I don't know why they call it morning sickness like people say because it hit me any time of the day um that was at the very beginning right then why well, I look like put my hand up on my hip 
And I dip, you dip, we dip. Let me rest. I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to sit back and sit up at the same time. Girl, I'm in the house chilling. That's why I wear this little piece. I feel, I said I'm about to put on something comfy and casual. And we gonna go and just chit and chat. Okay, period. Um, I'm surprised my back is feeling good. That's my second complaint. But that just now started happening. And I am later in my pregnancy. I'm eight months pregnant, y'all. Um, I'm having back aches. I actually made an appointment to go and see a chiropractor this week uh, because that's something that I learned through the hypno babies is that if you're out of alignment that if you get yourself aligned it can help get the baby aligned you know and get get them in the right position so I think maybe you know the chiropractor um, will be some help let me know if y'all haven't had any experiences with being pregnant and going to the chiropractor did it help you what did you need specifically for yourself to get you know kind of aligned and adjusted um outside of that outside of the nausea the back pain that i'm just now starting to get uh and what else I had a whole situation with my mouth, but you know what? That did not have nothing to do with the baby. I, I ain't gonna blame that on the baby. So, mine would be the nausea, headaches, and now back pain. The nausea and headaches was towards the beginning. Now it's back pain. Outside of that, I have no complaints. If this is what pregnancy would be every time, now I see why people be having uh, 50, 11 kids. I do. I could do this, y'all hear tough. I could do this. I could. I could do it. 50, 11 times. Because this is, it's been a beautiful experience. And I, I've been trying not to complain. Um, you know, because I'm like, this is a blessing. You know what I'm saying? This is something that a lot of people take for granted. People take this for granted. Like, there are some people that will never be able to do this. Um, so, I don't, I don't really have any complaints. I've been enjoying it. You know, I never thought that people describe to you what it feels like to be pregnant. Oh, it's going to feel like little flutters. And at the beginning, my placenta was anterior. So it was blocking a lot of the baby's kicks and stuff. It would muffle the kicks. And so I couldn't really feel the baby's kicks at the earlier stages like some women. It took me a little while longer. But once I started feeling him kick and stuff, I'm like, wow, this is crazy. And it still blows my mind. I talked to him. Um, you know, I'll talk to him. I'll be like, hey, baby, you know, what you doing? Or, you know, because I count kicks on a daily basis, um, I'll be like, okay, I need you to wake up. We got to count your kicks. You know what I'm saying? So, this has been a beautiful and amazing experience. I don't have any complaints. I don't have any complaints. Um, I feel like I had so much. I didn't write it down. I just, you know, set the camera up. I put on a little piece of face, and I was like, I'm talking to them today. Um, at least my hair is done and I, I look presentable <laughs> we're talking okay this is what I will say I almost let this pandemic it, it ruined a lot of first for me um, things were just different I always envision, envisioned what our baby shower would have encompassed and entailed and just what it would have been and so we didn't, I decided I didn't want to do a baby shower. I didn't want to do a virtual baby shower. I didn't. Um, that's why I didn't share with you guys. Uh, you know, and I also didn't feel right coming on here and saying, here's the links to our registries. Um, you know, be sure to go and buy something. And y'all like, bitch, you come on here once every blue moon. Like, no, I wasn't going to do that either. Now, if someone had asked, that's completely different. But for me to just be like, here's our registries. Don't forget to go to the registry. No, I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to do that. Um, but at this point, we at the end. My guest date is May 19th, if you guys didn't know that. And if you also didn't know, my birthday is May 10th. My sister's birthday is May 20th. My mother's birthday is May 26th. Anthony's twin sister's birthday is May 27th. Babe, yeah. when is um, when is the twins' birthday? Okay, uh huh. Twenty fifth, the day before my mother's. Um, so it's a lot of people in May. So I'm manifesting that my baby is gonna have his own birthday. 
okay i just want him to have his own birthday but this is the thing this is what i need him to do right listen up we had a conversation i told him i said baby i got a hair appointment on the 15th to get my braids y'all know when you get the braids you really ready for labor right okay i got a hair appointment on the 15th you could come anytime after the 15th i promise you you could come anytime you want when you're ready after the 15th let mama get her hair done so that i ain't got to worry about doing no bent two knots and twist outs and wash and goes because that's going to be too much, y'all. Okay? It's going to be too much. Y'all know I don't... That's going to be too much. I needed to be braided. I just needed to be up out of my way. So, I done made the appointment for May 15th. The guest date is May 19th. Um, if I'm using some weird, excuse me, terminology and phrases, it's because that's what I learned in hypno babies. I don't say due date. I say guest dates. Because babies are not born by numbers. They aren't due. And a uh, fun fact, only 5% of babies are born born on their due date five percent that uh you know i don't like math but that uh percentage that's not real high so i don't know why people even be giving due dates and i don't know why they call them due dates and i don't know why women let doctors tell them oh well you know you're going past your date you know you're way past your date if the baby don't come on the date that they gave because y'all wrong that's why babies come when they ready how many agree raise your hand thank you all right it's a plethora of other languages, you know, verbiage that I use do in part to the class that I'm in. And uh, I definitely feel like it's changed my perspective with pregnancy and childbirth. And I'm looking forward to that experience. That's why I keep looking at the computer because I wanted to make sure that it didn't stop on me and it did. So I don't know where it stopped at. I think the last thing I was saying was that Anthony and I will be celebrating our ninth year anniversary on April 28th and that is just still unbelievable to me and um, you know the fact that Anthony and I have been together 12 years we're gonna be married nine years that's crazy to me and I was just saying that it's a lot of stuff that I had to just I, I appreciate and I took a step back and just really valued and um, it's not that I didn't want to share it on here specifically it's not like I was constantly posting on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, but I wasn't posting on YouTube. I wasn't posting anywhere. I wasn't posting on nothing. That wasn't important to me. I'm going to just be honest. As much as I miss y'all and I love y'all, that wasn't important. When I felt like posting, I would. But me just being appreciative and taking in everything, uh, all of the blessings and what God has in store for us, and what I've been surrounded with, that's what has been important and that's what my focus has been on. Well, I know what I wanted to talk about. Should I make that another video? I know a lot of you guys were questioning the daisy. That I used the daisy and then I got pregnant. This is the thing. I need y'all to not think that daisy malfunctioned or anything like that. I still have my daisy. When the baby comes, that's what I'm going to be using. If you use Daisy the proper way, y'all realize I had Daisy almost two years. We didn't get pregnant those two years. So, if you use Daisy the proper way, it's a very, very effective contraceptive to me. Non-hormonal birth control is very effective for me. I'm going to continue to use it. I may have to figure some stuff out because with me trying to breastfeed the baby and I know that can throw things off or whatever, but I'm going back to Daisy. If I have to make a separate video about Daisy, I will. Um, but I know a lot of you are wondering about that. Am I still a big advocate for it? Absolutely. My coupon code, I believe, still works. You can use that code to get 20% off of your order. And... Um, I still recommend people use it like it's still very great and effective if you use it the way that you're supposed to so what I mean by that is you remember I told you on green days that means go you can you can go you can go okay yellow means be cautious so you take that how you want because if you know that you're not trying to get pregnant on a yellow day what would you do you would do one of two things you would either abstain from sex or you would use protection, right? Okay, common sense. On a red day, red means bitch, don't even think about it, basically. Uh, a red day means don't think about it. 
So a red may a red day means you are very fertile. Don't don't do nothing. So Anthony and I knew what we were doing. We was thinking about it on red days and yellow days. And here we are. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I followed it to the T and I've never had a problem. So I'm still a, a very big advocate of Daisy. I still think it's amazing. I still think that women should, um, you know, look at their options. If birth control is for you, that the pill, that's great. Um, but non-hormonal birth control is going to be my way. I will not be going back to hormonal birth control. Um, you know, and it didn't fail or misfunction or anything like that. I still will use it. I haven't used it in months. You don't use it when you're pregnant, of course. So it's in my drawer. The battery even hasn't died. I haven't charged it in forever. Um, you know you don't charge it that often anyways. But Daisy is just an amazing company. And I'm still going to very much so support them. Uh, I haven't had any complaints. I don't have any concerns. If you want to ask me questions, you can always shoot me an email. You know I put my email in the description. Or you can always reach out to me on social media on Instagram. Shoot me a direct message or whatever. Um, or leave a question in the comments and I'll answer. Um... So I did want to touch on that. I wanted to touch on that because people were asking about uh, Daisy and, you know, like, well, do you still recommend it because you got pregnant? Did you get pregnant because of Daisy? No. You follow the steps and you follow what they tell you, you don't get pregnant. I used it almost two years. We were having unprotected sex for those two years. Didn't get pregnant. Everything happens in God's timing. This was his plan. So that's just that. Um... I miss y'all. I love y'all. I just really hope that uh, this video finds you in good spirits. And, um, you know, if not, I'm sending very positive vibes and energy your way. Um, and I hope to hear from y'all, you know, in the comments, in my DMs, via email. I still check my email and all of that. I still have all of that. It still works. It may take me a while. Even some of you have wrote me on Instagram and I may not get back to you right, right away. But I always get back to you. I don't just ignore people. Um, comments on older videos. I have been kind of slipping with responding to those. But with this one, since this is a newer one, when I see the comments coming in, I'll, you know, be responding readily. So, that's that. I, I'm going to end it here. I feel like uh, I need to end it here. I know y'all probably want to see my belly. Let me show you real fast. Oh, this is my belly. Get in my belly. Get get in my belly, mm. get in my belly, mm. get get in my belly, mm. get in my belly, mm. get get in my belly. Mm. That's the belly, y'all. That's the belly. Okay. So we about to run to the store. We got to make some stuff for dinner. Um, I'm not gonna go to the store in this. I know you like, <laughs> bitch. You bold. No, I ain't that bold. I ain't gonna go to the store in this look. This is for lounging. This is for the house okay this is for relax that's what this is for this ain't for nobody else this is for in here this is for tux and anthony to see and nobody's oh well everybody on the internet has seen me now didn't think about that um well hey you know whatever it is what it is <laughs> i think i'm gonna leave my leggings on and i'm gonna just put on a shirt that's what i think i'm gonna do um okay have i forgotten anything i have not i probably have i'm sorry um if i did just ask me a question, excuse me. Just ask me a question down below, okay? I promise, I, I'll answer. Make sure to give the video a like. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. I haven't been posting on here that often, so please give it a thumbs up, um, you know, and make sure you're still subscribed because I haven't posted on here in a while. YouTube might have unsubscribed you, okay? And then, like I said, comment down below. And um, I will see y'all in the next video, okay? I love y'all.